we have the regular type of relationship between partners, and we have the soulmate's kind of relationship. Every couple desire this so much because it makes your home more peaceful, loving, and in all, makes you a better person. But the problem is, how do you become that soulmate with your partner? Well, it is easy if you are ready to do the work. The Bible speaking in the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 5, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall be united firmly, joined inseparably, to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Jesus has said a man and a woman shall be joined together, and they shall become one flesh, which means two partners can become one soul. You must be excited, right? Christ himself has given this a go-ahead, so follow as I tell you how you can become one soul with your partner. One of the things that you need to do to become one soul with your partner is pray together. Becoming one soul with someone is a spiritual activity and that level of connection can only be gotten from a spiritual atmosphere. Your secret room, where you get to communicate to the Father, is where he gets to make you both one soul. A very popular saying that says, a couple that prays together stays together. Why do you think that they stay together? They stay together because God becomes the glued sticking them together to become one flesh, having the same thoughts, thinking similarly, and even begin to act like each other. Most times you begin to ask yourself if they are twins. As you begin to pray together with your partner, God begins to put things in your mind for you to pray for your partner. He begins to reveal things to you both about each other. It's your spirit that communicates when you prayed, so definitely when you both hold hands to pray, you begin to pray with your spirit connected because of the agreement that you both have. Prayer is the best place that you can become one soul with your partner. And this is only possible when you and your partner share the same spiritual beliefs. That's why you hear the Bible telling us not to be equally yoked with unbelievers. If you both share the same belief in Christ, then you can do this and become one soul with your partner. It might take a while for your spirit to agree, but as you consciously continue to pray with your partner and also pray for him or her, your spirit gradually begins to connect until they are no longer two, but one. The institution of marriage was established by God for a purpose, and that purpose is unity. The oneness of spirit, so begin to make an everyday effort to pray with your partner. Another thing that you need to do to become one soul with your partner is to compromise for each other. Marriage is all about bringing two different people from different family backgrounds and different values and beliefs regarding life, but what makes you both one soul is when you have learned to always compromise. In marriage, it is not always going to be about you, but about us. You are not going to always have your way whenever you both want to make a decision but you still find a way to accept the decision even though it does not favor you. At times, it is going to be about your partner, but you still accept it for their sake. Without compromising, love cannot truly last. When you begin to accept that you are not always going to have your way, and you begin to compromise for your partner, that's when you begin to learn about them. The things that make them happy, you begin to see life from their perspective, and they begin to see from yours. The Bible speaking in Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says, Do two walk together except they make an appointment and have agreed? You cannot walk together with your partner if you both have not agreed to do so. Agreeing on means coming from two different ends and finding a balance in the middle which we call compromise. When you begin to learn how to do this for your partner because you want your relationship to work, you will realize that your relationship will begin to go to the next level, which is the soulmate level. You both will begin to do things because of each other, and you would not even realize when you get to the point where you no longer know the difference between what you want and what we wanted. It got to this level because you were able to compromise for the other person without realizing when it became what you also wanted. If you want to become one soul with your partner, this is a good way to go about it. Also, you can become one soul with your partner when you have completely let down your guard 
and you are all in for the relationship to work. Many times you see couples struggling to stay around each other, because one of the partners still feels the need to be perfect in front of the other. When you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable around them, or you force yourself to appear like you have everything figured out, when they are near, because you don't want them to see you broken. You are not willing to let go of your insecurities because you are still afraid of the fact that maybe there is still a chance that they will hurt you, so you end up being uptight. Preventing yourself from all that you could be enjoying, if only you are willing to let go. Because of your insecurities, you are also unable to trust your partner and always expect him to do the worst to you. Beloved, how do you expect to be one soul with your partner when you have not fully let them into your heart? You have not trusted them with everything in you, you need to trust them to the point where you know that you can be yourself 100% around them, and they will still accept you for you. For you to become one soul with your partner, you need to have trust. You need to let your guard down and allow them to show you all they could do for you. Be free to also do for them what you have always imagined that you would be doing when you have the perfect partner. Begin to picture them as your perfect definition of the spouse you always wanted, and it from that point that your soul also begins to connect. Because of the level of peace you have around, then your soul begins to align with their souls. Let your guard down and begin to experience the peace of being one soul with your partner. Accept them fully with all your heart, with no restrictions, and see the magic that begins to happen. Lastly, to become one soul with your partner, you need to learn how to communicate with compassion and kindness. No relationship is perfect. There's always going to be a time that one or both of you will become angry at each other over the tiniest of things. During those times, you would feel like screaming at each other, saying things that you don't mean to each other. And once words are out, they can never be fully taken back. You later come back regretting what you had said. What makes two people become one soul is the ability to still sit down calmly and talk about the issues they are having. Your partner might have done what hurt you, but you tell them their fault with kindness and compassion because you respect each other. Conflict and disagreement are very common in any kind of relationship, but it is a great way of a deeper sense of connection when it is being treated the right way. Don't try to hide your feelings because you are scared of an argument. Be willing to tell them so that you can free your mind from any piled up anger, which never ends well for anybody. Be authentic, but remember to be kind with your words. The truth is, when you stop being authentic and cover your feelings, is when you lost every single connection that you have been trying so hard to work on. A true partner would appreciate your authenticity, becomes it allowed to know you better, because you poured out your heart to them in the right way, and the next time they would be careful to not repeat what they did. You need compassion and kindness towards your partner to become one soul. I hope I have been able to help you with how you are to become one soul with your partner. It is not always easy at first, but you will get used to it to the point you will no longer feel you are working for it, because it has become your new normal. Everyone deserves a relationship that feels like this, a partner who always got your back no matter what, and who would know what to do even before you say it. The level of connection is possible when you become one soul. My prayer for you is that as you start to work on this, that God also makes your partner willing to try then with you. Stay blessed.